friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday and welcome to this week's WW Grocery Haul. This week I just hit up Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store, picked up just what I needed for the week. I didn't need any meat because last week I hauled a ton of meat, but I did find some new fun things, some not traditional WW things where I share the smart points with you. And also I'm going to share with you my meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. Again, it's another week that I am so excited for what I have planned for meal prep. So if you wanna see what I picked up for all of my meals for the upcoming week, just stay tuned. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I didn't need a whole lot. I really stocked up on meat and everything last week. So I just picked up the basics for my recipes, some snacky things, some things that aren't the best in points, but I wanted to show them to you anyways, because luckily we can eat whatever we want as long as it works into our points. So let's get started on the haul. So the so first thing I picked up were these heavenly caramels. These are in the caramel apple. They were on sale for $1.49. I thought they'd be kind of fun to throw in my husband's lunch and they are 45 calories for one piece and it does have some sugar so I'm not sure how many points I'm betting two but of course I'll put the points here on the screen but I thought this would be kind of fun just to have as a sweet treat on hand also some fat free ready whip as always I still have about three quarters of a can but these are on sale right now for two for four so I picked up another one Fat free half and half. This is for an upcoming recipe. I always just use whatever's left over in my coffee so it never goes to waste. And this is really inexpensive, about $1.40. So not a bad deal for fat free half and half. Eggs, the Pete and Jerry's organic eggs were on sale for $2.99. These eggs are actually really, really good. Very comparable to the Happy Eggs. The Happy Eggs are my favorite, but these ones are pretty good, and they're free-range eggs, no antibiotics, so I picked up two packs just because that price, you can't pass it up. Mozzarella cheese sticks, these are actually for my husband, but I know a lot of us are steering a little bit further away from fat-free cheese, so I want to show you everything I got because, again, we can eat whatever we want if we work it into our points. So, some mozzarella cheese sticks. I also picked up a block of Colby Jack cheese. Again, this is for my husband. He's going to be having cheese and meat and crackers for lunches. He's kind of tired of sandwiches, so I'm sure a lot of you can relate with your husbands. So some Colby Jack cheese for that. Also, we needed some salsa for a recipe, and I heard that this La Victoria organic salsa is delicious. I got mild because, as you know, we're not big fans of spicy, but I heard that the flavor and the ingredients are really good, so I picked that up. Also, some peanut butter. My husband also was thinking maybe peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and he actually really likes the sugar-free jelly, so I picked up just the Jif peanut butter, and we can have this as well just in moderation. Also, some no sugar added mandarin oranges. I have some cottage cheese that is about at its expiration date. So I wanted to make sure that I picked up some fruit to add to the cottage cheese. So some no sugar added mandarin oranges. I just drain the juice and top my cottage cheese. So good. And then for my husband's lunch, I picked up a couple snacky things. I don't know if you guys have seen these. Again, the points will be on the screen. These are the soft baked oatmeal squares in cinnamon and brown sugar. So they're only 150 calories, um, but with the sugars and everything, I'm not sure what the points are, but that's for his lunch. And then also these little bites. These are cute. These are the party little bites, and these are 180 calories. Just so you know, there's hardly any in the pack, and I imagine the points are pretty high. But he likes to just have these on hand uh, to munch on in his lunch. I've been loving the Enlightened Cold Brew Coffee Chip Bars. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are heaven. Heaven, heaven. If you like chocolate and coffee, oh, so good. Three smart points, you can't beat it. They are a little on the pricey side. They were on sale for $4.99, but I want to say normally they're $5.99, and there's only four bars, but they're well worth it in three points and so incredibly delicious. Also some roasted garlic breadcrumbs. I just needed to stock up on my traditional breadcrumbs, and these roasted garlic ones are really delicious. Also, I needed some gorgonzola cheese. This is for my lunch meal prep, and this is the week of my challenge on my Facebook group. So all my prep is part of my challenge, and one of the recipes, which sounds so good, uses the gorgonzola cheese, so I picked that up. 
Also, for my husband, for the meat cheese cracker lunches, this hard salami, these are so good. If you can see, these are the perfect little round salamis. They're so easy and portable, and they really are absolutely delicious. Uh, so you can eat, we can eat these as well. It's just he's wanting this with this and some Ritz. So pick that up for him. Two pie crusts. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. The extra crust, I just throw it in to the freezer. And I noticed Pillsbury is only 100 calories for one eighth. Every other brand was 110 to 130. So watch your points on pie crust. And so Pillsbury had the lowest calories, so that's the one I picked up. I also needed some non-fat Greek yogurt, so I grabbed the Greek God's Plain non-fat yogurt. This was on a killer deal, $2.79. Same calories, same everything as the Faye. So I needed this for a recipe, and then of course we'll just eat whatever is left over. So if you have a Fred Meyer or Kroger nearby, grab this while it's on sale. Great deal. Also, I needed some chicken broth, so I picked up the 33% less sodium. Just trying to watch my sodium. And the star of the grocery haul is my coffee creamer. You guys know I these are my favorite. So I grabbed three total, two of the sugar-free peppermint mocha and one of the sugar-free pumpkin spice. This one is better than I remember. So good. So my pro tip with these is load up. If these are your favorite flavors like they are mine, load up throw them in the freezer, they'll last you all year. So I'm literally going to buy dozens and I'm just going to freeze them and all year I'll have my very favorite coffee creamers on hand. So I grabbed three of those. The rest is veggies and produce. So I some frozen peas. This is just for an upcoming dinner recipe. Some spinach, this is for also a recipe. And this dole was a pretty good price, $1.99. Whatever's left over, I can just eat for salads. Two limes for a recipe, a lemon for a recipe. Very strange, odd, large lemon, but whatever's left over of it, I will use for my water. I grabbed some white peaches. These were on sale, and I'm just kind of craving something different than my grapes I've been eating. So I grabbed some peaches, and then it is season of cutie. So I picked up a big bag, $3.50 for this bag of mandarin oranges. Generally, I'll have two to three as my fruit with breakfast or lunch, so I love those. So that's everything that I picked up for the week other than some Diet Coke. So I will move right into my meal plan and what I'm doing for meal prep. So let's get into this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. So I plan all of my meals here with my Carrie L meal planner. I do have the large one, the eight and a half by 11. I love it. It's spiral bound. It is just a beautiful comprehensive meal planner. Several tabs for you to use. The first one is the resources tab. And that's where you can write down your favorite meal planning blogs, recipe sites. You can even jot down the recipes that you like that I show. Anything that you wanna keep track of, you can put in under the resource tab. The next tab is inventory. And this is where you can inventory your freezer, your pantry, and your spices. So super nice to have this. Keep track of what you have when it expires. Just helps you plan your grocery list a little bit better as well. The next tab is the meal plans. We're gonna come back to that one. Next is gatherings. And with the holidays coming up, this tab is going to come in very handy. It's where you can plan a party, an event, plan what you're going to prepare for the meals. And then there is a detachable grocery list that you can take with you to the grocery store. So as you jot down your meals, you can jot down what you need at the grocery store. And there's several of these in this tab. So lots of opportunities to plan some gatherings. And last is the notes tab, and that's where you can just take notes. You can use this to make lists, jot down recipes like I did here, whatever you need the extra space for. And then in the back here, there is a two-sided little pocket folder. So that's kind of nice just to shove those extra recipes, whatever you want to keep in your meal planner. So let's go ahead and go back and revisit the meal plans tab. First of all, my favorite part of this is the monthly planner. So let's actually go to October because that's the month that we are about to get in. And basically what you can do is you can jot down all of the recipes that you're planning to make at a glance. So for this week, I will jot down my recipes that are on my plan. That way the night before I can make sure that I have all of the ingredients and also that I've pulled whatever meat I may have in the freezer out and have it ready to go for my meals. And then also there is a weekly menu and this is 
definitely a must have. You can plan out your meal or meals. You could do all three per day. And then again, there is the detachable grocery list for you to take with you to the grocery store. It is so comprehensive, so awesome. I honestly don't know what I would do without it because there it would be very hard to plan my meals if I didn't have this meal planner. I absolutely love it. So for this week, here is my menu. So my week goes Saturday through Friday. So Saturday, I'll either have dinner or make some two ingredient dough pizza. I'm not sure what I'll end up doing. I'm gonna be showing houses all day Saturday, so it just depends on when I get home. Sunday, I'm gonna be making ranch chicken with potatoes. And again, this week's menu all is courtesy of my challenge on my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined my Facebook group, I'll put that here on the screen for you. Definitely go over, join it. We have just under 9,000 members and we're doing a super fun challenge this week where I planned your meals and your recipes and we're gonna give prizes away, just a fun time. So these are all recipes that I had planned out for that. So Monday, we're gonna be doing a one pan taco rice dinner. Tuesday is chicken cobbler. Wednesday is vegetarian taco pockets. And then Thursday and Friday we'll have leftovers because there's only two people in my house. So we generally have quite a bit of leftovers from all these meals. And then on the back of this is where I plan out my meal prep. So again, this is my challenge meal prep. So I'll be prepping the things that we're having as a group as part of the challenge. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making pumpkin cheesecake pancake bake. This sounds delicious. For lunches, I'm really excited about this. Gorgonzola pasta with sausage and spinach. Again, can't wait for that. And then I'm gonna add a little dessert to the mix and I'm gonna be making some triple chocolate cupcakes. These, my friends, will be frosted and low smart points. So definitely stay tuned for Meal Prep Monday where you will see all of these recipes. So again, that is my plan for the week. This is my Carrie L meal planner. If you are interested in purchasing a planner, they have the large one here, a smaller version and a digital version. You can use my code here on the screen and you'll get 10% off of your order. So head on over to Carrie L, definite game changer when it comes to planning your menu and staying on track. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the fun stuff I picked up for this week and my meal plan I'm so excited about. Again, if you are not part of my Facebook group, I'm gonna put it right there for you. Make sure you head over and join the almost 9,000 members. It is such a positive, fun place to be, and it is not too late to take part in the challenge that started yesterday on Friday. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure you subscribe hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's grocery haul, meal plan, and meal prep, and what recipe are you most excited to see? And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.